This video is a little off the beaten path. We'll go visit the chickens after. I'm gonna put them all out so they get some time to chicken. I wanted to give you a little bit of a backstory how we ended up here on the farm. In 2013, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And Bill and I were living in an apartment in our, you know, our local town. And after the whole year of treatment, we realized that the most important thing was time. Now I'm not sharing with you the story of cancer so anybody can feel sorry for us. We call it our horrible, beautiful year. Because as horrible as cancer and chemo and radiation is, there was also this kindness that I had never seen in my life before. And support. People came out of the woodwork that we knew, but they weren't our close circle of friends. Some were, but not a lot of them. And actually some of the people that I considered my close friends didn't really show it during that time. And I don't mean like they had to be there every day or they had to bring food or anything like that. Like not even a phone call. That was eye awakening. Oh no, that was eye opening. <laughs> we made a list of what we wanted. We prioritized it. We kept it simple. We actually started uh, with the information provided in the tiny house movement. That was like a really good place to start for us. And that's where we started. Our dream was at least five acres with at least, if we could, a water feature. And we wanted gardens. We wanted to grow. We didn't know if we wanted to do a market garden or not. And so we needed south facing. So I was on the internet looking at places and land in our area and it took me two years to find this property it's five acres has a stream in the back year round it has like a little seep that comes from the neighboring property that comes through it's usually wet but it's not really a stream except for spring so we found this property and we fell in love with it and Bill and I came out and looked at it. And as soon as Bill saw the stream, he was like, that's it, this is it, this is it. I got a realtor and we put in the offer. For those of you that have always dreamed about this type of life, we want to give hope. There was a lot of things I yearned for when I was researching for those couple of years. Like, how are we going to do this? What are we going to do? You know, how are we going to make it work? And what about this? And what about that? And I couldn't really find very many people doing it. There's a couple of YouTube channels out there that are pretty close. Um, one of them, and I can't remember the name of it, but they're pretty famous now. They were able to fund so much of it already, even though they did start from scratch and they did everything from scratch like we did. But I feel like sometimes when the channel gets so big, um, I kind of lose interest because you can tell they've got a lot of money. I'm hoping we don't ever do that. I'm hoping that we can kind of still do stuff. I guess keep it simple. Guys, so about six months after we bought the property, we were able to get a driveway in a little bit of a flat area and we put an RV on it and lived in an RV for a year and a half. Yes, through a Vermont winter. And actually it wasn't too bad. It was 250 square feet. That's the one you see on the property that we're kind of using as storage right now. And we started to build. We were able to clear a little bit more of the property. We were able to get a, a concrete pad put in. We had timber frame kit. Of, from a Vermont company and they delivered it. We actually had two house raisings. Friends and family came and helped us. We had two because there was a couple of pieces that weren't right with the kit. <laughs> In fact, one whole piece was missing. So we couldn't finish it. 
And then we ended up, to do the second floor, we ended up like hiring a crane to help us. So everything that you see right now, it has been five years worth of work. When we were at least moved into the house, we were done. We were so tired, it was crazy. I think we started building in July and we were in it by November. Wasn't finished, in fact, the second floor wasn't even insulated. We moved from the 250 square foot RV into the 600 square foot first floor, I think for like the first six months. And it felt huge. It felt so huge. You know, and we didn't even have hot water at that time. And there was a lot of things that we slowly did ourselves. But 99% of it was from us. We didn't do the roof. We hired somebody. That was just too intimidating. We didn't do the plumbing. Since Bill is a uh, electrician, you know, he has a buddy who's a um, plumber that he really trusts. And, and I designed the house. I mean, all stuff that I never thought I could do, we did. So I'm really glad you guys are along with us on this journey. It really means a lot. And we love to hear your comments and stuff and your ideas and whatever you think would be a great video. That's so helpful. Because again, sometimes I feel like, who's going to be interested in this? Who's going who's gonna to want to watch this stuff? And it's really kind of cool that you guys do. I'm actually up on a ridge behind the house. Wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tour of the property as much as I could and show you how pretty it is. It's springtime, so not everything has grown up to where I can't get through here, but during the summer, it's really hard to get through here. This is the back of our property and it contains about three and a half acres of woods. Our stream runs through the entire back of our property. <laughs> and you can see because we've done some clearing, wow. some of the trees have fallen across the stream. Because of snow runoff and a lot of the rain that we've gotten recently, the stream is pretty high and just is looking gorgeous. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's a hill behind our house and we own right to the base of it. Before we moved to the property, Bill had a couple of trail cams back here and we were able to see the animals that traveled through this area of the property. They would also stop and drink from the stream. I think we ought to do that again. What do you guys think? Was that fun? These are the chicks that I got in the middle of March and they're now three months old. And this is their first time outside.
Thanks for visiting, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.